I have the huge pleasure to introduce to you a real legend in the field of music. So, Seymour Stein, introduced in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, being our godfather for class four. Seymour, welcome to the school. Thank you. It's fantastic to have you here. It's great being here. Um, you're a stable of artists that you've mentored, let's say that, that you've brought to life and brought to, uh, uh, into the hearts of the people uh, is amazing. This table is amazing. Uh, it's, I know the Ramonas, the Smiths, Talking Heads, the Pretenders, Ice-T, Katie Lang, Seal, Madness, Wilco, The Cure, Madonna. Who else? Echo and the Bunny Men, uh, the, um, I, don't, I wasn't there, the cult, um, let's see, um, you said Talking Heads and the Ramones, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Richard Hell and the Voidoids from that, from that era, um, from very early on, uh, British bands like the Climax Blues Band and uh, Renaissance, uh, the Dutch band Focus. Um, it, uh, I, th I think you've not covered it all. The, but, word, uh, the word amazing, uh, I think, uh, is uh, the right word. Very diverse. Uh, um, is diversity your focus in your work? Um, it's, uh, I don't go out of my way to look for diversity. It sort of finds me. Um, you know, I, I've always believed that, uh, that, that that great music can can come from anywhere. So you're working not in a drawer and say, you know, this is I've, the kind of music like uh, bossa nova or so, and the next one is a bossa nova, and I develop this genre. Yeah, you you are going for I don't, individuals. I don't, I don't look for trends. I yeah. mean, uh, once there's a trend, it's pretty much over. Okay. I just I just look for good music. Yeah, is, music is, that I like. Is that the recipe to, to have it's, a company over that, that there, there exists are, and develops it, and grows over 40 years? It's, uh, it's my recipe. Uh, other people have succeeded uh, far more than I have with different recipes in the, in the business. Okay. So, um, but uh, I, I'm content to do it my way. Yeah. Now, um, uh, there is the word signed. I was signed by or I signed. Uh, what does it mean? Um, <laughs> What's behind it? Well, you, 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 gotta, you, know, you find an artist and um, you, you want to get him signed to your company. Um, if, uh, if you're the first one there and there's no one else, if you're early, um, you usually uh, don't have a big problem. Uh, sometimes, if you wait, um, there can be five or six other companies, and it becomes a bidding war, which uh, I try to avoid. I don't, um, I don't like it. I've been engaged in it a few times. I've won and lost, uh, but uh, I, I, I prefer to be there fast. Okay. Now, what do you bring to the party after the signature is on the paper? Well, um, I bring myself my experience, and um, the strength of, of the Warner Brothers organization, which is uh, one of the great companies in, in, in the music business. What do they do for the artists? Uh, what we do together mm -hmm. is uh, market, promote their music, uh, develop them as artists, uh, and um, in this new, fast-changing music business, uh, there's also divisions that look after management and merchandising and um, hmm. just, you know, that, what we call a 360 deal. Yeah. Now you said uh, you try to be fast. What do you do to be fast, I, to, I, to be I, I just, early on? Well, um, I, um, I, I, I just tend to, to be ahead of the pack. I don't... Um, I make a quick decision. I've been faulted for it. I've been faulted for it many times. Um, but uh, it's the way I operate. Um, but um, 
I think uh, it, it's helped me succeed. And, uh, you know, uh, when I first started out without Warner Brothers, I had to be fast because, you know, I would definitely be outbid. Um, and uh, it's just, it's something that stayed with me. Yeah. What's, you know? a, what's the difference uh, of uh, running your own company? I mean, Saya still exists. You, you started yeah. it. Uh, but now uh, that Warner owns it. So how, how, how do you it's deal a, with that? It's a brand now. Um, and uh, what we are is uh, basically an A&R hub. A&R is an old term which stands for artist and repertoire. Uh, it goes back to the days when um, the producer would find the artist uh, and then s assign a, a, you know, a, a producer, a different producer, to, to make the record. <coughs> it's artist and repertoire, find the songs. These days, most artists write their own songs. So um, he, the, the artist and the repertoire are one and the same. That's what you're getting. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're a talent source for Warners, and uh, Sire is a good brand. Yes. Now, how would, would you say, how, how does Sire differ from other brands in the market? Um, do you own something that others don't? Do I? Own something that others no, don't? No, I, I think that um, th there, was, there was a time, particularly um, in the late 70s through the mid 80s, when um, people would look at every Sire record that came out and not buy it, but at least explore it. Um, and that was, uh, to me, so flattering, because when I was growing up, um, there were labels like Atlantic and Chess and uh, VJ and King and uh, Imperial Specialty, Sun, um, that I did the same thing with, you know, when a when a new Imperial record came out, where well, that's Fats Domino's label, I got to hear what it is. I didn't buy it necessarily. Mm. Um, if it was on Chess, that's Chuck Berry's label, you know. So the uh, label was a message. The label, the label sent out a signal, yeah, and yeah. I think we still send a signal. Um, I, I I don't think um, labels mean mean as much. Uh, as as they used to in in that term, uh, but uh, but Sire is still very respected, and the fact that it's ongoing, and the fact that uh, I, as a co-founder of the company, am still there, shows that there, there's you know still a, a you know a, a direct line to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, in a way, um, um, uh, the 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 job is maybe mostly for you also to manage the fame of of the people you handle and the fact is that with some the fame is short-lived and with some you've managed the fame is long-lived i don't what, what are the do's and the don'ts uh, i i don't quite understand uh, I, I don't manage the fame i mean uh, they uh, what i try to do is uh, get the most potential out of the artists that they have to maximize it um, with their recordings and then to see that it's properly exploited. Mm -hmm. um, it's really a manager's role and the artists themselves in many cases um, to, to look after that end of it. And some of them are very good at it, some of them aren't. Um, some of them have very good managers, uh, most of them do, some of them don't. Um, you know, some of them have the potential to have long, never-ending careers like Madonna, and uh, others don't. Uh, you know, uh, it just wasn't meant to be. How come that Ma Madonna has such a long career and it's not over yet? Well, first of all, she is, Madonna is one of the smartest people I've ever encountered. Uh, she's one of the most determined, driven, um, and, um, you know, she also knows a, a lot about music. She's on the cutting edge of it. Um, 
she but she follows always, it. Not always, she not always not has been, been yes, yeah, and yeah. she continues to, yeah. to to be. Every one of her records that she makes is totally different from the last one. She just like reaches in and turns herself inside out like a chameleon. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she's, uh, you know, I, I think she'll continue to 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 be able to do so, uh, you know, in in the future as well. Yeah, what, what can uh, people that uh, create brands, what uh, can marketing learn from Madonna? What would you say? I, I, I think that uh, the, the thing that I most ad admire about her is that she always seems to be ahead of the curve, well ahead of it. So, th I mean, that is where she wants to go and others follow? So she creates the curve, or can she sort of figure out where the curve will be? I think you need to speak to her about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you said you believe in artist freedom. What, what do you mean with that? Um, well, I believe in artist integrity, artist freedom. Uh, uh, as much as possible, um, I, I like them to make the kind of record they want to make, not one that it's their vision more than it is mine. Um, and again, there are other people in the business, immensely successful, who uh, uh, mold people. Um, but uh, that's not my style. Okay. Never has been. Well, you said 80% of, of the success at the end is a song. That's you that's my that, that it, I, I say it I, I I believe it yes I think the song is what's, the most important the ingredient. Uh, singing musicianship uh, stage presence uh, and they're all very important um, very important but they mean nothing without a great song. Uh, well, if you would boil down Seamustein to one word, I mean like. Like Disney boils down itself to magic, um, uh, Volvo boils down itself to uh, safe. What would be? What, what well, I'm certainly not. I'm certainly not safe. Um, <laughs> I'm also not dangerous. Uh, I'd, 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 li I'd like to think of myself, and the, it's not me. It's sire. It's the you know, as somewhat unpredictable. Um, you know, okay. expect the unexpected, you know, I mean, uh, that's, that's I think, really I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that, that fits well. I mean, we, we believe in unpredictability as a real driver in, in creativity. I mean, uh, when you started in business, you've been um, a part of Billboard, uh, and you said you've been also looking what, what was, uh, uh, really hot in the jukeboxes, and that gave you a lot of information. Uh, um, what the people, what what the kind of songs well, uh, people appreciate. How, how do you? Uh, where, where do you look today? Um, I try to go to clubs and hear music live um, as much as possible. Uh, you know, I, um, <coughs> I I get music off the internet and. Uh, Download it, make MP3s, and 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 uh, you know listen to it. Um, I'll listen to it from any source I can. Well, um, pop music means touching hearts and lives of millions of people, giving generations also an identity. Um, you have been steering part of it. Um, I think that that is why you're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, we all love what you've done also for us, for, for, for me. How do you feel about this, having had such an impact uh, to people, impacting people's um, lives? I, um, it's, I've just, I just feel I, I've been blessed. I mean, it's such a, you, you know, how many people, you know, I never wanted to be a fireman or a policeman or, um, you know, a soldier. That's how a lot of kids grow up. I always wanted to be in the music business, and I got to do it. I got to do it at a very early age. Uh, I've done it all my life, and um, I'm still doing it. 
I, you know, but um, yeah. no, I, I, I just, uh, you know, it's. Uh, I, I don't want to take a page out of Lou Gehrig's book, but sometimes I do feel like the luckiest man on the face of the earth. That is fantastic. Um, now, um, you also pointed out that all this uh, wonderful development was helped by mentors. <laughs> You know, I, I am a pretty modest person, but I'm not being modest when I say, um, without the help that I received at an, at an early age, without people that took the time to, to steer me in the right direction and to teach me, uh, I, I don't think any of this would have been possible. Yeah. And you know, that is why it's so wonderful that you are here and you care about our class four, and they have a mentor in you. Well, so I, I, um, I hope so. Uh, they can, if, they, if any of them have any CDs, uh, they can uh, submit yeah. them to me and I'll listen yeah. to them or anything else. But well, uh, no, seriously, I, I hope I can help a few of them. You, you, you can help. Uh, uh, thanks so much, uh, Simo. Uh, it's wonderful also for me to good. get to know you. Uh, well, and let's have a good time yes, at great. the Berlin School. Yes, great. Thank you. Thank you.